Breaking news following the Los Angeles Chargers victory over the Kansas City Chiefs backups. Coach Anthony Lynn is fired, and I cannot disagree with this decision anymore at all. Like, I mean, th this is, to, in my opinion, a terrible decision. And you guys let me know what you guys think. Look, this is why. It's Justin Herbert's rookie year, and has Anthony Lynn completely messed up on multiple occasions? Yes. I've seen time management been horrendous. You guys have single-handedly lost the games because of bad coaching. And that has nothing to do with why I feel like Anthony Lynn should stay here. I think, I think Anthony Lynn needs to stay here because your guys' team has been injury-plagued. And not only injury-plagued year in and year out, but you got a rookie quarterback who I felt like, and I know Mike felt like too, was the best quarterback coming out of the draft. And he is performing at a top-tier level. You give Anthony Lynn another year with this guy, let him develop in the same system, he'll be absolutely phenomenal. But when you change things, everyone wants to change things after week 17, and it's a horrendous decision. And I've been saying this in all the coaching firing videos, and I'll continue. It's not these coaches failing with an amazing roster like Freddie Kitchens kind of did with Cleveland. It's these coaches failing because, one, it's the year of COVID, and, two, the talent's not really there. L.A. does have talent, but without Derwin James, without Joey Boza consistently being there, without Melvin Ingram consistently being there, without Austin Eckler being there for more than half the season, th these things start to add up, and when they add up, it hurts this team. It hurts any team, and you can't put all the pressure and say, it's on Anthony Lynn. There has been terrible coaching throughout some of these games. Terrible time management throughout some of these games. But it's not on Anthony Lynn. I do not put all the blame on Anthony Lynn. And therefore, maybe you guys disagree, but I do not feel like this was a good decision for the L.A. Chargers. You got a quarterback really growing in the system. You got a, a very talented team. Give Anthony Lynn one more year. And if they don't do good next year, by all means, fire his ass. He doesn't deserve to be here. But as of right now, this second, I feel like he deserves another year to prove himself. I feel like this was absolutely... Um, premature fire. I, I don't like the decision, but we'll see what happens. Let me know who you think the next coach will be in the LA, and let me know what you guys think in general about this decision. Be sure to stay tuned, leave a like, and subscribe for more content from Top Notch Sports. Myself, I get rid of, I mean, I give out all the breaking news and everything. We, we do debating. You guys know that we do debates. Uh, give us topics to discuss. Join our show. Do anything you guys want to do to come on here and speak your mind. We are more than willing to have you guys on. If you guys disagree, tell us why. We will be more than happy to debate you in the comment section or you can even join the show and comment. I mean, uh, debate us on live YouTube. I mean, we didn't do it on a live stream. Guys, hopefully that's enough. Let me know what you guys think again. I just feel like with Justin Herbert growing, Austin Eckler being hurt, Derwin James being hurt, your cornerback's kind of being iffy. Everything going on, you just got to give this team time. And this was a premature fire, in my opinion. But, again, we'll see what happens. I just feel like Justin Herbert is going to be that constant knack for the AFC West. He's going to hurt the, the Raiders. He's going to hurt the Chiefs. I think the Broncos are a great team with Vic Fangio. I like all the coaches in this division. And I truly feel like it's going to be a tough division for years to come. But just with this firing, I just totally disagree. We'll see you guys soon. We are built better.